hungry are you? Yeah, me too. So I'm on my way to eat and you're gonna watch. I was in Sweden, Stockholm last week, said that a million times, but I was trying some beautiful food and I reviewed a burger in my last video. So I was thinking, what should be my first video on this channel in England? And it just made sense that I did a Swedish one. Now in England, we don't have any Swedish restaurants at all. Not that I know of anyway, not near me. So I was like, how can I get my hand on some fine Swedish cuisine and do a video for you guys? Then it hit me like a ton of bricks. Let's go to Ikea in Leeds. So I'm going to review the, the famous world renowned Swedish Ikea meatballs. I think it is actually pronounced Ikea, but um, we just say Ikea. We say it as we see it. And that's what we do. So I'm going to review those. I've tried them before and they're just so popular. Lorries are pulling out on me. I'm indicating I'm moving into the fast lane right now. Everybody has IKEA furniture in the house. So I bet there are a ton of you who've tried these meatballs. I wonder if your views align with mine. We will find out very soon. Also, my wife, who's holding the camera right now in between her cleavage, is very excited once again to try the dime cake. It's like a cake pudding. It's, it's funky. So we'll review it together. You either love it or you hate it. I don't think there's any in between. It's like the Marmite of dessert. So we'll we'll try some of that as well. And we'll get stuck in. And can I just say before we get there, it's well cringy. It really is. I've had this camera out now a few times. The first video was in my hotel room and I just felt a bit naughty and I was fine. I could have done it naked in fact, but you can't do that in Ikea. You'll one, get arrested. And then two, uh, I just don't want my balls on a chair. I'm not shy, I'm just a little nervous. It's like the first time you give your wife You're not 100% sure what's gonna happen or how it's gonna smell. Should I cut that out of the yeah. video? Okay. That's why we just make up that smelly ass. That's why I just took that. Because your ass stinks on that. Everybody's got a smelly poo pole, love. You do, I don't. It doesn't. Everyone smells it in the booty. The next time you see me, I will be in IKEA hiding in the corner like Baby from Dirty Dancing. But the difference is, I know how to eat balls. And this is what I've got. I've gone with mashed potato, the 12 meatballs, peas, lingonberry, and that is £5.95. Ooh and the legendary dime cake, which is such a favorite of everybody. Like literally everybody was grabbing one of these. Right, okay. So, I mean, I had them before. Every time you come to Ikea, you've got to have meatballs, right? So the mashed potato, always start with the mashed potato. Hmm. Creamy, decent. Peas. Drier than Gandhi's soul, but hey, I mean, how long have they been sat there? I love lingonberry. If you don't like lingonberry, man, you're missing out because it goes so good with the gravy. Mm. I'm probably going to finish all this while you're watching, but it's all about these mashed potato, really heavy, creamy. The taste is there, the taste is there, the mashed potato is decent. We'll give ratings later on. But there's the meatballs, guys. They're very, I mean, they're, I mean, small. They look dry, but, are they? No, no, they're full of flavor. But the thing is, some people come to Ikea just for the food they and they end up leaving with tea tea lights candles my wife sat there she didn't want me on she's eating eight meatballs and she'll be having two to two later <laughs> yeah people come to ikea just for the meatballs and end up leaving with some candles because you're walking around and it's like oh tea lights let's get some tea lights 
because you've got to buy something you feel awkward when you get to the end of IQ and you haven't bought nothing and all you've had is balls mm. they're good for £5.95 for 12 meatballs oh, you, oh chips I just stole some of my son's chips the chips I mean standard frozen chips you've got to salt them yourself not salty And the thing is, when you get to the end of IKEA with your candles, after you're full of your meatballs and mm, you can buy all of this. It's there in the frozen section. Literally, this ready-made sauce, the dime cake, the meatballs, the mash, even the mashed potato, which is actually really good when you take it home. So you can replicate this at home. It's a little bit more expensive obviously but you get a, a load of portions mm. value hell yeah this is great value but obviously you've got to drive to ikea which is a bit out of the way and we're in leeds and then um, i was a bit naughty they're gonna love me walking around in that is it the best meatball you'll ever have absolutely not but do you need to have them when you're here? Of course you do. You, you've, you've got to. They do a bunch of other things. Fish, salmon. That looked like it was dead a long time ago. Like, so dry looking. So I, I didn't bother with any of that. Why would you come to Ikea and get fish and chips? Like, why would anybody do that? It, it's, it makes no sense. Even for an English person to come to Ikea, you just know just, they just don't do fish and chips well. Grab yourself some meatballs. I know my head's kind of cut out, but my tripod's small and I'm tall. So I'm having to crouch like hunchback of Notre Dame, eating meatballs, sat in the corner of Ikea like a right pervert. Mm, a bald pervert? A bald. Mm. A bald pervert. A, a bald pervert. A bald, bald pervert. I'm not bald, I'm shaven. There's a, there's a difference. Take a look at that. That's how. I'll show you. I'll show, actually, wait a second. Mm. Let me show you my perfect mouthful of IKEA. Okay. So we start with a little bit of mash. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just dip it in the lingonberry. I'll grab a few peas on the end of there, stick a ball in the end of it. You see that? That there is a perfect Swedish mouthful. Mm. It's missing pickles though. Because I'm bending down, my nose is running. I'm definitely getting a cold, 100%. Hay fever, maybe. The best meatballs I had was in Stockholm. Mm. Don't put a chip and potato in your mouth. Why did I do that? That was weird. That was not good. The best meatballs I had was in Stockholm, and I'll put a picture of them up right now. Let me tell you, that was a top five meal of mine all time in my life. All time. Top five meal. Need to, need to go back. Anyway, let's rate this before we get into dessert. If the balls that I just showed you were a 10, these would have to be like a 6. So it's very, it's, it's, it's bang average. As far as Swedish food goes in England, it's kind of the go-to. We don't have many places that sell Swedish food. Basically, it's, it's Ikea. All in all, value for money. You're out with the kids. Their meals are like dirt cheap. I'd probably say I'd rate it out of 10. Value in mind. Hmm. I score it like a six. I think it's a six out of 10 because it isn't the best, it's just bog standard. But you don't really get meatballs anywhere else in England, so I'll say six out of 10. I mean, it's becoming pretty common that I eat all my meal while I'm doing these videos, whereas other people seem to just have a few bites, right? Mm. I mean, I was hungry. Let's get, let's not get it. Let's not get it twisted, I was hungry. Mm. 
last but not least the dime cake this is my wife's favorite and she would have me bring them home actually i think we just found out you can actually buy these at the end of ikea so and i'm not sure you can get them anywhere else um, you got the dime it looks like i mean i've had a i've had it before but i don't really know what's in it it looks like some sort of vanilla a vanilla a vanilla layer almonds almonds dime vanilla biscuit chocolate and this yeah this is hugely popular hmm i think why it's popular is it's unique there ain't much like it yeah there's not much like it anywhere Mm, very sweet. I'm not a sweet sort of person. On these uh, food videos, you'll realize I won't be reviewing many sweets. I felt like I had to. But you can see that weird yellow layer. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. I still don't know. It's a bit weird, but something when you're IKEA, I would 100% try. Unique. I'll score it before I finish it. For me, bear in mind, I don't like sweet stuff. Five point five. My wife's absolutely getting, giving me the daggers. Ten out of ten for my wife. For me, a five. Did I say five? A five. Can I show the gooey things? Also, the dime's two pound twenty-five, but for one pound fifty, you can get this. It looks like it's called a chocolate gooey cake, but it looks like a brownie. It looks really, really dense. That's like one pound fifty. The dime is a bit bigger, which is two pound twenty-five. So again, they have you with the the amount they sell. It is absolute shouted that didn't I it's absolutely <laughs> heaving in here I'm sat right in the corner and it's full and I queued about 30 minutes to get this food so they have you with the it's not the best food but it definitely is great value so all in all come to Ikea for a cheap meal and some candles every time damn it